what is up guys I got my steam deck finally it just got uh, delivered to me today uh, this I do I ordered this from steam on February I believe and they kept a reserve for me for the third quarter and uh, I just got the notification last week that my uh, steam deck was available so I went ahead and purchased it and now uh, here it is I'm gonna be unboxing it and I'm gonna go through what's inside I got the act if you want to know I actually got the full the uh, um, full version with the 512 um, SSD in here okay let's get started on that so out the box uh, this is actually the Steam box itself uh, this right here is the power the um, charger I believe yep power adapter this is the big package for me. I got a case and everything for it because uh, this is the um, the full version of it. Just an overview of the Steam Deck itself on here. So, got a micro SD slot over here. Uh, this is for uh, charging. And yeah this is for powering on I only wished this thing came with a Thunderbolt 3 type of um, USB type C connection instead of USB uh, 3.2 I believe so that way I could put like an external uh, GPU on it if I want to like play at home or something like that uh, yeah cuz from what I've seen on YouTube videos on the Steam Deck itself uh, you would have to actually uh, take out the back of the um, back cover and install a SSD um, PCIe Express um, adapter from the back of it and then you can use your external GPU with that but yeah I don't want to feel like going through all that so I'm just gonna keep the Steam Deck as it is it's kinda sad that they could have put a Thunderbolt 3 because Usually this is like, realistically speaking, this is basically like a laptop pretty much. And laptops come with Thunderbolt 3 on them. But it is what it is. Um, the purpose of this is to be a handheld PC gaming device. So I guess I'm okay with whatever it is. Alright, so now let me actually just uh, go through the case itself and what's inside the case. The Steam Deck itself, the, uh, the cover itself, sorry, it has the Valve logo as you can see. I unzip this. Now here's my Steam Deck in general. Uh, as terms of weight, this does feel similar to the um, Nintendo Switch, the first gen Nintendo Switch, kind of. I mean, yeah, obviously with the Switch with the uh, Joy, the Joy Cons and everything. Actually, never mind. This is slightly heavier, but. I think like gripping it and everything feels kind of the same. Oh, these touchpads feel nice. Now the analogs are basically like the uh, Switch analogs, which um, might have um, drifting. It might have some uh, uh, analog drifting if uh, you do use it a lot. But I do play with the D-pad because I do play a lot of fighting games, so that's better for me. D-pad is not that bad, but I, it might be just getting, if anything, I could always just uh, get a docking station and just connect my controller to it, or I could just use a Type-C to USB-A and then connect my controller to it, I think that would be a lot easier, or I could just use Bluetooth, uh, but I don't prefer Bluetooth because of um, the input delay. Nice uh, cleaning cloth over here think that is everything that's on here okay so let's uh, power this thing on so uh, yeah I didn't know this didn't have any power so I actually uh, need to put this in now I got it powered on here's the steam valve logo
All right, uh, I'm gonna skip through when it's fully powered on because it's taking a bit to boot up. Okay, so I went past the um, the logo screen. I put in my Wi-Fi credentials, time zone, and now it's installing the updates for Steam. So I'm just gonna let that run for a bit. Okay, so here is my Steam Deck after I let the Steam OS update and I logged into my Steam. These are all my games. I did notice a couple of things so far with my library. Uh, not every game is um, compatible with my uh, Steam Deck, which is kind of whack. Such as Tekken 7, as you can see. Unable to see. Oh wait, never mind. And I had that message pop up again before. Oh no, don't tell me my saved files are having a problem. Okay, so it is downloading Tekken 7. So I'll come back to this one is done downloading and I'll play a little bit of that. I wanted to try out other games, but I want to wait until I install Windows because my original plan is to actually uh, install Windows on this and then I'm going to be doing my Steam games, obviously, and of course my um, my emulation. Okay, so the update finished, and now Tekken 7 is booting up. And it looked like it just crashed. Okay, let's try that again. Let's just run it. I just see. Hopefully, my save files don't get corrupted again because that was annoying to f get back. Well, not necessarily get back. I had to get my rank back. I didn't get all my saved back. Okay, well, uh, this is not good. The game is crashing a lot. Okay, uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna try to figure out why it's crashing. Okay, so I actually had to do some research as to why this was happening. And you actually gotta do some pre-configuration when you do this. So let me get out of this and show that real quick. So this is so if you are just getting a Steam Deck right now, or you're looking to get a Steam Deck, it would be recommended to do this actually. So first things first is you're going to go into your desktop mode. So you're actually going to hold the power button down, and then you see a drop down for um, changing to the desktop mode. So let me go there, press A. Okay, so now we're in the desktop mode of um, the Steam the Steam Deck. So this is basically a Linux OS. So you're gonna have to go into this Discover Store that's located on the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to search up Proton. 
So you can bring up the keyboard by pressing the Steam button and X. Let me do that real quick. Uh, okay. So when you search up Proton, let me backspace that a bit. Okay, I gotta click on the. So you search up Proton. Oh, why is this coming up like that? Okay. Pro. Okay, touchpad is not being friendly right now. Okay, let me do it this way. Pro. Ah. Okay. So let me just type it in real quick. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. So I finally got Proton typed in. I was using one hand, sorry. So. Yeah, you gotta install something called Proton um, Up QT. So this actually um, helps you run um, games. So th this helps you run like Windows-based games, pretty much. And as we know, most of the Steam catalog is for Windows, and this is a Linux-based uh, system. So uh, this actually helps you uh, play uh, Windows games. Let me actually launch the app. So you go here. All applications scroll all the way down let me just show how it looks so when you launch it so this basically is a GE Pro is basically GE Proton and um, you basically want to add a version and uh, once you add the version It'll, tell, it'll come up with a drop down menu like this and the, you want to install the latest version of it and I have a uh, 733 at the time of this recording and once you get that installed uh, then you should be good and then let me X out of this go back to the Steam mode and keep in mind uh, yes I am going to get a screen protector and a cover for this because uh, yes yeah, since it's a touch screen I do not like having touch screen stuff without a screen protector Okay, so now let's launch the game. So what you actually let me go over here to see show what you gotta do after you do that. So you're gonna go to properties, and then you go to com uh, compatibility, and then you go to force use specific Steam Play com com um, compatibility tool. Sorry, I don't know why I can't speak today. <laughs> okay, so when you go there, you could choose the latest um, GE Proton 7, uh, uh, GE Proton version that you have at the time of recording again. It's 33 for me, so that's what I have on there. And then this lets you actually run games that are stated unsupported, apparently. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some performance test when I boot into the game. All right, so I'm going to go over some settings that I'm going to be putting on here, the graphics settings, so it runs a little bit better. After all, since it doesn't have a GPU, so I'm going to have to like nerf the settings a lot compared to what I have on my PC. So we're obviously playing in uh, 7... This is a high 720p almost. Yeah, just high 720p. Then put, I dropped the rendering down to like 70, and then I put all of like the settings on medium. And I have the FPS counter on, so... I'm gonna be using a stage that uses a lot of graphic power, probably the, um, the beach stage.
issue. Yep, Island Paradise. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of movement so you can see the frame counter a little bit better. So I am at 59, so that's pretty decent. Um, obviously, it's going to go slightly less than 60. Oh, cool. My binding's still here, so I could do 3 plus 4 with that. Okay, so... 59 frames? I mean... I'm used to playing 60, so it's just good. I'm gonna have like probably one frame rollback when I play. Uh, probably a slight. It's gonna be just a frame of an input lag, which for me I'm gonna need some time to get used to. Um, but I could probably drop this to low settings, and it'd probably run a little bit better. So I'm gonna probably try that right now. It should definitely be able to handle low settings. So we're turning this to low. We're putting all of these on low. Oh man, this is about to look hideous. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get a constant 60 after this. If you could get a cost of 60 on this stage, then you're more than likely getting a cost of 60 on the other stages as well. I could always push the rendering down too, but let's see what it does. It's Okay, so we're still at like 59 even with the lower settings. Uh, but if anything, I think it's just slightly better by like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly unless I had my um, afterburner installed. But yeah, this isn't that bad. Let me try one more. I'm going to try it with the 50% rendering. Yep, let's drop that to 50. Oh boy, it's about to look so bad. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think it's going to just cap to like in the high 59 area. But honestly, would I play online with this if I really have no other option? Probably. I could always turn the V-Sync off, but I think if... This is... Even if I turn V-Sync off, I don't think it's going to change much. But uh, yeah. So that's my Steam Deck unboxing and my Steam Deck setup. Um, I'm going to probably do another video with it when I install Windows and see if there's any much of a difference. I know for a fact that there's going to be some driver pre-drivers I have to install because this is all based for uh, Linux hardware from what I remember. And some uh, drivers are not compatible from what else I remember. 
But, uh, yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a great day.